Um, good morning. I'm Nobuya Sawano from Japan. Uh, I'm appreciate for invitations. This is my first India, so I'm so glad and appreciate and I'm excited. So let's start my presentation. It's okay. Just one. Minute. Just one. Please just stretch you. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. My title is uh, Utility of Stream Bronchoscope and Ultrasonic Scope produced by the Fujifilm Medical. Just a moment. Oh, okay. So let's start. And my agenda is first is a bronchoscope, stream bronchoscope. And the Im improvement of the chest CT scan, it has made it possible to detect a very small lung region, such, uh, such as you're uh, looking at the CT scan or uh, all lung, lung cancers. And this is the first plot of the diagnosis of stage one lung cancers by control group which is a chest x-ray, annual chest x-ray, and load of CT groups. The authors pull the eight clinical trial which compare the control group and the load of CT, CT scan groups. And it reported that the screening with the load of CT scan group was associated in significantly high, in, uh, high likelihood of the detecting the stage one the lung cancer. The relative risk was 2.73. Uh, it is important to check and detect the small lung regions and uh, get and grasp the material from the such a lung regions. So uh, we have to do the bronchoscope to buy accurately. So in order to accurate, accurately perform the bronchoscope, we do the many type of the strategies. One is the city navigation. This is the city navigation system from the Fujifilm Medical, the Synapse Pincent. Before the performing bronchoscope, we, pre we cre create the this one, uh, city navigation. The abnormal region is located on the left upper lobe, and the target bronchus was identified number three. And another strategy and the useful tools is the EBAS system and bronchial ultrasonography. And one is the EBAS TBNA and another is the radial EBAS. The latter part, I will explain the EBAS TBNA. So first is the radial EBAS system. This is a specification of the EBAS from the Fujifilm Medical. And the distal end diameter is 1.4 millimeter and uh, small and the maximum diameter is 1.9 millimeter. And the frequency is at 20 megahertz and so it has a high quality image. In Japan, we usually use uh, EBUS, radial EBUS, and a guide CIS kit, and a chest X-ray fluoroscopy, and we get, detect the target bronchus and the insert the bronchus and the insert the forceps or the bron uh, cry biopsy probe and we get the material from the target region. And this is a famous finding of the radial EBUS. That is a normal type, normal pattern and the bridge pattern and the mixed bridge and the solid patterns. This is an example case of the blizzard pattern, the CT scan shows the ground glass opacity and the reticular shadow on the middle row, and the EBUS shows the blizzard pattern. And next is a typical pattern of the solid region. Until now, I uh, explained the importance of the radiological findings and uh, preparing for the bronchoscopy. But uh, it is need to, needless to say, uh, the, the most important is the quality of the Bronx scope. So I will introduce the uh, EB710P as a stream Bronx <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yesterday, Mr. Matsumoto introduced this stream scope, so I confirm and support the information. The, uh, the distal end is uh, uh, 4.1 millimeter, and the working channel diameter is 2.0. Uh, 
and the, the, this was this has a new platform, so the control uh, control portion, and uh, if it, this has a rotation function, and this has a high quality sensor. This is a compar comparison of the conventional type, standard type of bronchoscope, and the stream type of bronchoscope EB710P. And uh, comparing the standard type, EB70 has a suction valve and it, it is a fixed and stable. And it has a full type of switches and we can allocate it each switches to the each function, for example, a stop or the go or the take pictures. And another platform is here. And grip portion is designed for easily gripping. And the most useful tool is the rotation function, this one. And the new rotation function uh, enable 120 degrees rotation of the insertion section. And by using this rotation function, we can insert the devices, for example, the forceps, forceps or the probe, or prior probe, to the uh, target bronchus, which was difficult to, the, to insert without this rotation function. This is a specification of the EB710P. Uh, the diameter uh, of the end, end diameter is 4.1 millimeter and insert tube outer diameter is 4.1 millimeter. And the, um, the working channel is 2.0. It is enough to insert the major devices. And it has an uh, insertion to rotation function. And uh, I showed one example case. The 50 years old man was detected the abnormal shadow on the left upper rope. And before performing the bronchoscope, we uh, CT scan shows that uh, the target bronchus is left upper lobe. And we, for, and we created the Synapse Vincent and the CT navigation. And the Synapse Vincent shows that the target bronchus is left upper and B plus two, and B plus two B, and the small two, and beta. And uh, during the performing, performing the, we, insert the, we insert the guide seeds and the forceps tube and the EBUS, radial EBUS to the target bronchus, and we prove, uh, the, we check the EBUS, radial EBUS, show their solid pattern, and the X-ray fluoroscopy proves that uh, our scope and the in, uh, our forceps has actually reached to the tumors, and the, he was diagnosed as lung cancer. So next is our ultrasonic scope for the EBUS TBNA EB530 US. The induction and objective of the ibas tbna is our atherosclerosis. So, for example, lymph node metastasis for lung cancer or the other cancer, or the mediastinal tumor, or a centrally located lung cancers. And as you know, the lymph node histological diagnosis is very important, for especially in the lung cancer, because uh, staging of lung cancer depends on the lymph node metastasis. And depend on the staging of the lung cancer, the treatment and strategy is widely changed. And this is the lymph node station accessibility of non-surgical and surgical procedures. There are many strategies, for example, EBAS TBNA, EUS FNA, and media stenoscopy and the VATS. And as you know, the EBAS TBNA can access to most of the lymph nodes, apart from number two or uh, five, six, eight, nine. And on the other hand, the media stenoscopy or the VAT can access to this uh, lymph node, but it is so invasive. This is one study where the author compares the endobronchial uh, EBUS TBNA and PET CT and conventional CT for the staging of lung cancer. Oh. And he reported that EBUS TBNA had our most highest sensitivity, specificity, and the positive PV and the negative PV. 
And uh, this is a com about the complication of the IPAS tbNA. Uh, the, the author uh, spurs uh, over 7,000 patients, and uh, he reported that the complication was only 1.23, and the major complication was a hemorrhage, and there was no patient died, and there was no severe bleeding or the severe pneumothorax. Now I introduce the uh, IBAS TB and its group, uh, EES 530 US. This is a specification of this scope. The viewing direction is 10 degree. It's a very small angle. Uh, because of the small angle, we can see the image. Is, uh, it is very similar to the direct view long scope. And this end the diameter is 6.7 millimeter. And the phase proportion diameter is 6.3 millimeter. It is relatively small. And bending angle is widely from the plus 130 to minus 90 degrees. So we can widely bending this Bronx curve. This is a typical view of the EES. EES. And so we can also use the color Doppler and elastography by using this scope. And finally, I will introduce uh, the rotation method in our, our hospital. The, when we performing IRAS TBNA, the, we use uh, this method. The detail of the detail of this method is this. And the first, we puncture the lymph node, and then we slide the needle many times, and then we change. We rotate our hand to about three to five degrees and change the view of the echo and the needle and then we need we, we slide needle again and we repeat this this is an example case the operator after puncture the slides the needle and then rotates the hand and uh, change the echo slide, echo view, this one. Fast angle, we slide uh, many times, and then stopping the slide and the rotation and the another viewing, we perform the puncture again. And be careful to not to lose the needle in the view. Okay. By using this method, we can get uh, very large and long materials like earthworm, and we can submit these materials to the path uh, pathological department or the gene examination. And this is my last slide. And biopsy examination is essential for the diagnosis of and staging of lung cancer. And biopsy using bronchoscopy and EBRAS is useful for the pathological diagnosis of small abnormal shadows on CD. And EBRAS TBNA with ultrasonic scope is useful for biopsy of lymph node. Thank you for attention.